Welcome one and welcome all, baby, to the People's Channel. So, today on Orchids for Dummies, just a quick tutorial on how to water your um, orchids and moss properly, okay? Now, this is not, go I'm not going to be before you long at all. Now, a good indication as to when to water your orchids that's completely in moss, You hear that crunch, 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 crunch? Okay, because you have that crunch, 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 honey, that is going to be the perfect time to go ahead and get your Phalaenopsis orchid a little water. But because she is in moss, honey, you do not want to saturate her because moss is very water retentive, okay? So if it's going to get too soggy, it will actually suffocate any new or roots that has already been produced. So... Stay tuned. Okay, Fab Pal, so I got like a half a cup of water, and this has been lightly fertilized because orchids, I meant the moss, also um, retains nutrients. So I'm just going to make sure that it's been evenly dispensed around the orchid. Quickly let you guys get a looksy looksy. You can see the water that's down there. You want to just make sure that the water is being distributed equally. And you see that water right there. Let's go over to the sink, okay? So I'm going to gently hold the orchid in place and let any remaining water come out as so. When the um, orchid is upside down as such, that is going to put the air pockets inside of it, okay, Fab Pals? So that's how I'm able to grow this orchid inside of a container that has no holes. I'm sorry, that was not such a good video. But as you can see, it's already um, gas inside of the balls, and that's because she was dry for so long. So that is um, one good way right there. And that's when you have your orchids in a closed container, such as a vase. Now stay tuned, I'll give you two other examples. Now Fab Pals, when you have an orchid that's in a um, container that is greatly ventilated, such as this, then yes, you do want to saturate your moss if it's lightly packed. This moss right here is very lightly packed. It's not much in there at all foul pals so what i'm actually going to do is saturate this right here making sure not to get any water in the crown or in between the leaves so see how she just popped <laughs> Ooh, she just popped right up they thirsty they are so thirsty foul pals they have been in here all this time, and I've been out on the highways and the byways on vacation, honey. So they are very dry. Also, foul pals, when you have moss and it is this dry, please be careful when fertilizing it. Because if you have such strong fertil fertilization, um, it will actually burn your phalaenopsis roots, okay? So this water that I'm using only had a drop of the... Um, calcium, the seaweed extract, and um, just a pinch of your Better Grow Plus, okay? 2013, 13, or whatever it's called. But yes, so this moss right here, you want to saturate it because it's so greatly ventilated, it will dry out um, very quickly. And so there you have it, Fab Pals. You want to make sure that um, you let it sit for a moment because the uh, moss is going to actually drain. And then you want to make sure you have no water sitting at the bottom of the pot. And I would give it about a minute or two to do so. Okay, one more example. Stay tuned. You know, this is my big mama Jama Maria who has been in bloom all of her life. And what I am doing to successfully keep her in bloom and continue continually to bloom is um, I'm doing great by this moss. 
She is in a lot of brand new sphagnum moss um, that I received her in from Heavily Gardens. And um, I'm actually just watering her, not on a schedule, but by the appearance of her roots. Now, these roots right here are actually a little um, greener than I would want them to be. Um, I like for them to be um, gray, all the way gray, no shadow of a doubt type of gray before I water it when it's in compacted moss such as this. Now, how I water um, a beautiful phalaenopsis that's compacted in moss like this, stay tuned. So, fam pals, this is just some clear rainwater. I have not put any fertilizer in it. Now, as I said, be careful not to get any water in the crown. The only thing that I am going to do is try to get the roots that's on the side right here to get those wet. And I'm going to do that by getting the cup. Just like so. And I'm going to do um, a little on this side. Oh, and that's it, fail pals. That's it. I'm not going to saturate this moss at all. As I said, I'm not going to water her every Sunday. Only when the roots are great in appearance. Now, Fab Pals, if you have any other questions as it pertains to watering and fertilizing your orchids and moss, please leave those comments in the box below. And stay tuned, darling. Until next time.